Hi, and welcome to another Avanti Patch for MEM tutorial video. This video covers the installation of Patch for MEM and its prerequisites. Let's start by taking a look at the prerequisites you'll need in order to successfully install and run the Patch for MEM plugin. Patch for MEM is supported on a number of operating systems, so check the online help pages to verify if your operating system is supported. In terms of hardware requirements, Patch for MEM only requires a minimum of 4GB of memory to operate. For software requirements, Visual C++ redistributables 2015-2019 to or later are required, as well as Microsoft.NET Framework 4.8 or later. You can view the C++ redistributables installed version in the Apps and Features page of the operating system. For .NET Framework, you may need to look into the registry or use a script to read from the registry and ascertain what version you're currently running. There are additional software requirements for Patch for MEM surrounding WSUS. If the WSUS server role is already installed, the device already has these prerequisites. However, if installing on a desktop operating system such as Windows 10, the Update Services API and Commandlets will be required. You can install the API and the commandlets via PowerShell's import module function as demonstrated here. In order to use Patch for MEM, the account using the plugin must have several administrator privileges, starting with being a local administrator on the device. The account also needs to be a member of the WSUS administrators group, whether that role is installed locally or not. The account also requires the log on as a batch job user rights assignment for scheduling operations when using features such as the automation scheduler. In Microsoft Endpoint Manager, the connected site server must have the software update point role configured. It's also recommended that Microsoft Endpoint Manager is run in administrative mode at all times. And finally, in Microsoft Endpoint Manager, the account must be configured as a full administrator with the security scope set to all. And finally, Patch for MEM also uses SQL Server to store information regarding publications, so check on our online help section to verify if your version of SQL Server or SQL Express is supported. Moving on to the installation, you'll first need to acquire the latest version of Patch for MEM from the respective downloads page. Once downloaded, run the installer in administrative mode and follow the wizard through the installation. Once the product is installed, you do not need to restart the device. Thank you for watching the Avanti Patch for MEM tutorial video on the installation and prerequisites. We hope to see you for the next one.